Shana Tova, everyone. I'm here today to tell you how to become a super spreader of positivity. You see, everything that exists in this world exists in equilibrium. So if we have a situation where you can walk into a room and simply by breathing, you are spreading germs and a virus, and that can be, become a super spreading situation, then you need to know that also when it comes to positivity, you can be that super spreader. You can walk into a room and spread light and joy and positivity and optimism. So how do you become a super spreader of positivity? On Rosh Hashanah, we remember two famous couples. In the Torah reading, we remember Abraham and Sarah. God remembers them and brings them a child in their old age, the child that becomes the patriarch of our people. In the Musaf prayer, God remembers Noah and Nama and saves them from the flood. Now, what made the two couples different? Why did Abraham and Sarah merit to be the patriarch and matriarch of the Jewish people? Our sages tell us that while Noah sat there next to his ark, building day in, day out, he never made any real effort for anyone else. He knew that there was a flood coming, and he said, well, I'd better save my family. But what about everyone else? Why wasn't he concerned for their welfare? Let's contrast that with Abraham and Sarah. They spent their entire lifetime traveling up and down the land internationally, telling people that there is a God, there is one God. We must believe in monotheism and we must believe in morality. That was their life mission. It wasn't just about them. It was about spreading, becoming super spreaders of morality and positivity. Our Hasidic masters compare Noah and Abram to two people sitting in a cold room. One person pulls out a coat. Now, he has a coat on, so he's warm, but all of the other people in the room are still cold. That's Noah. Abraham is the man who lights the fire, brings a heater into the room so the entire room warmed up. Hasidim called this the tzaddik impels. Noah was the righteous man, but righteous in his own coat. Abraham was the one who spread the warmth and light into the room. And that's why 4,000 years later, Abraham is still spreading the light. Look, just this week, the Abraham Accords were signed. Israel made peace with two former enemies that had sworn that there would never be peace between them. And yet, Abraham's light, Abraham's super spreading, intergenerational, thousands of years later, that light, that positivity continues from Abraham. So how do you become a super spreader? Well, the science currently tells us that there are four ways. The first thing you, know, you need to know about spreading the virus, and again, in contrast, it will be spreading the positivity, is that... The virus doesn't spread when we're socially distant. So if we want to spread the positivity, we need to be socially close to one another. Not physically because we have a pandemic out there, but socially. Meaning to say that we need to make an effort. Sometimes you're not in the mood to reach out to another person, but that's what you need to do. Our sages tell us that Rebbe Yochan ben Zakkai, the leader, the Torah leader of the generation each day, he would go to the marketplace and he would greet people, people he knew, people he didn't know, Jewish, not Jewish. It didn't make a difference. His mission each day was to be the first to extend a greeting. He wanted to be socially close to everyone. That's how we become spreaders of positivity when we make an effort, when other people are being distant, that we become socially close. Number two. In order to avoid the virus spreading, we wear masks. If you want to be able to spread positivity, we have to remove our masks. That means that we need to be honest and real with people. Sometimes we're in difficult situations and we just wear this mask of 
I'm not going to address the situation. I'm going to simply ignore the situation. The greatest example of wearing a mask was the most powerful woman in Persia was Queen Esther. And yet she was really powerless when it came to saving her people until she was prepared to remove the mask, let her husband, the king, know who she was and what she stood for. Then they could engage. Then they could have a real conversation, a real relationship. If we want to be able to spread joy and positivity, we have to remove the mask and engage with people and be there at the table. Number three, if you want to be able to stop the spread of the virus, we're told to wash our hands. So if you want to be able to spread positivity, don't wash your hands. Don't wash your hands of uncomfortable situations, of challenges in life. Sometimes we will just simply say, I can't deal with that. I'm washing my hands of it. I'll find something else to do. No, don't wash your hands. Be that one, hithalech lefanai, just like Abraham, who walked before God. Noah was et ha'elokim hithalech Noah. Noah walked with God. Abraham walked before God. Abraham was the one who showed initiative. He was the one who did the first, took the first step. Number four. We're told now that we have a rule of six. The letter Vav in Hebrew corresponds to the number six. Vav means and. Vav is known as the connecting letter. In fact, in many Torah scrolls, at the top of each column, there's a letter Vav, which connects each column to the next, bringing it all together. You want to be a super spreader of positivity? Be that rule of six. Be that Vav, the one who brings people together. If you know that there are connections that need to be made because this person should know that person, maybe for employment purposes, maybe for volunteering purposes, maybe for friendship, be that Vav, be that rule of six, be that connector. Be the one, again, like Avraham, who showed initiative, who went, who went lefanai before all others to make the effort. Friends, this year more than ever, be an Abraham, don't be a Noah. Don't be a Nama, be a Sarah. God seems to have been absent in our lives over the last few months, but he's given us our mission. He said to our patriarch and matriarch, You want to be whole? Walk before me. Don't wait for me, says God, to switch the lights on. You go and turn the lights on. You go and be those spreaders of positivity, of joy, of optimism, of goodwill in the world, and I will follow. Let us all follow in the footsteps of our patriarch and matriarch, Abraham and Sarah, and may we bring light and joy to the world, and may the Almighty follow closely behind us. Shana Tovah.